boys and girls, rabbits and squirrels. It's another day in NC, Texas, North Central Texas. Welcome back. I'm uh, headed out on a rainy day, April the 16th, going to Hicks Airport. My cousin J.D. Kinman, Jeff Kinman as I know him, um, he wrote a lot of books. A lot of you know him uh, from that uh, on Facebook and reading his books, things like that. He uh, built a hangar out there. I did the electrical work on it for the most part. And um, I'm meeting Scott and Karen Von Allman uh, all the way from Wisconsin. And we're going to have some barbecue and a good time. Anyway, come along. So this is Jeff's hangar. And that is Gerald's. Gerald Kinman is actually Jeff's uncle, but my cousin. So I guess Jeff was kind of second cousin. That, that right there is a lift. Yep, it's an elevator. Go up to the second floor. In case you need to haul anything or just don't feel like taking the steps, just get on that thing and ride it up, which I'm going to do here in a minute. But this is the lower floor, the shop area. All right. So let's take a ride. Yeah, Gerald actually uh, designed this thing. Got a motor right there. And if you need all anything, appliances, furniture, yourself, you don't feel like going up them stairs. And we're up to a little balcony. There. Boom. And here we are. So, what's going on in here? <laughs> this is Karen and Scott, Van Almond. My cousin Gerald right there. What are y'all eating? We're eating Uncle, what's Don. his name? <laughs> what's his name? It's um, not important. This you're, Uncle you're Texan. Texan. Yes. This Uncle <laughs> Texan. <laughs> That'll do. That will do. Well, they're from Wisconsin, and we're actually having uh, Bush Beans from Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. And Wisconsin. This is Lois, J JD's wife. Hey there. Yep. Yep. Very good. Oh, All right. I think I'm going to eat two. Scott made some homemade cheese. All right, I'm gonna have to dive yeah. into that. No, not for you. All right, so I'm here with Scott and Karen. Um, I think I mentioned before they're from Wisconsin, and this is what they brought. All right, so we got several different kinds of cheese here. This young man right here, Scott, made it. Scott, can you point out the different cheeses, which is which? Uh, that one is a Dutch blue. Okay. That one's a butter case. Ooh. That's a red dragon that's mustard and ale. Red dragon. That's a buttermilk blue. And that one is Gouda. All right. So it's pretty Gouda? Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> what do you think, Karen? Did you get enough cheese? I, I think it's pretty Gouda. Yeah? And yes, I have plenty uh, of cheese. All right. So... The, the Wisconsinites bring cheese down here, and the Texan gives them barbecue. I think that's appropriate. I think it is. Yeah. I, think it's, uh, I think it's a good swap. Yeah. It'll be interesting to find out how Lois and Jeff met. So, without further ado. Let's see. Uh, circa 1990, September, uh, I moved to Texas, Lubbock, Texas, from Maine. It was a culture shock. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> a little bit of one. And um, I, at the time, was working for the... NBC affiliate. I was a television news reporter and um, I had the crime beat. So the first couple of weeks into my job, I had to go and learn kind of all the people that I needed to know from the county sheriff to the local police chief, all of that. And one day, one of the photographers uh, brought me to the jail 
at Lubbock County and um, I went in there and just as I was coming into the jail, uh, Jeff was coming out of the jail, out of the lockup area. And, you know, I didn't know who he was or anything, but my photographer did. And he said, oh, this is somebody you need to know because if you're gonna be uh, part of a, you know, if you're gonna be on the crime beat, you need to know this person. He's working with the U.S. Marshal Service at this time. So uh, it was interesting. He apparently had just kind of um, arrested somebody who I guess was not real cooperative and had a little bit of a scuffle back there. On the, <laughs> Uh, but anyways, he, uh, he's, you know, my photographer introduced me and, um, I met Jeff and Jeff basically introduced himself as, you know, hi, I'm Jefferson Don Kinman <laughs> and me not knowing any better coming from the Northeast. I said, hi, I'm Lois Victoria Waskavich. And that of course was a mouthful at the time to say. And so he just basically said, well, you know, welcome to Texas and all that. Now, over the years, that story has changed a bit, depending yeah. on who, who was telling it. And yeah, yeah. if you hear it from when Jeff was telling it, it was that he was at the jail, he had just arrested me in a vice, <laughs> as a result of a vice raid, and that, um, you know, that's how we met. But that is not the truth. The truth is, oh, yeah, he, t he told me you put up a struggle and oh, trying yeah. to get you in the jail. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. But, uh, but yes, but, but that's, that's my version, and I'm sticking to it. So. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Let's go over here to Gerald's hangar. This is his RV that he built. It flies pretty regular. Was that for 41 Taylor Craft? Yeah, yeah, it's one of those projects that got, I got suckered in the building, rebuilding. Yeah. It's been a fun, it's a fun thing to fly. It's a, this is my therapy. Instead of going to a stranger somewhere, you know, I go out by myself and I like early.